Okay, so atomic theory, and what we're going to look at first is the subatomic particles that are present in an atom. Those would be, of course, the electron, the neutron, and the proton. Okay, remember that the proton is the atomic number that is on the periodic table. The proton plus the neutron is known as the mass number. And this is not on the periodic table. This is something that is specific to an isotope. Um, and we'll get to isotopes in just a moment. Remember that the proton and the neutron are both very much heavier, more mass than the electron. The electron is about one two thousandths the mass of a proton or an electron. So moving on to isotopes. The definition of an isotope is atoms of the same element, but they differ in the number of neutrons. So for instance, here's an isotope, calcium-40, it's the ion, okay? It has 20 protons, that is the number at the bottom. Okay, you can find that on the periodic table. 40 is the mass number, and it's written at the top of the atomic number on the left-hand side, that is protons plus neutrons. And then the charge would tell you if it gained or lost electrons. Positives mean it lost electrons. So now it has more protons than electrons. <clears throat> okay, so isotopes. Again, remember the um, mass number. To get the number of neutrons, you would take that mass number and minus the number of protons. Okay, if I had calcium-41, I would have 20 foot protons and 21 neutrons. Okay, atomic mass, okay, and we're really talking about the atomic mass unit, is 1 12th of a carbon-12 isotope. So it is the mass of a neutron or a mass of a proton. And again, one AMU, atomic mass unit. When we talk about a element or um, element's molar mass, that is in grams per mole. Okay. This is the weighted average of all of the naturally occurring isotopes. These are the type of problems where you are given the percent abundance of a particular isotope. And you might be asked to calculate the average atomic mass. So you would take the percent abundance, change it to a decimal, multiply by the mass number, which is really the mass. And that's known as a weighted average. And then the answer would be your average atomic mass. Those are the masses that are given on the periodic table. Okay, mass spectrometer. Remember, VIAD. Okay, vaporization, ionization makes it into negative ions. A, acceleration. D, deflection. And then the last D is detection. You may be asked to draw a sketch of one of these. So you have a vaporizer. And then you have um, the ionizer, which shoots uh, electrons at the atoms and makes them negative. Then you have the acceleration part, which is the magnetic field that draws those negative ions through. You have a deflection. Deflection, which is that um, magnetic field.
And then finally you have the detection which detects which isotopes made it through. Remember, if you have a heavier isotope, it's going to be deflected less. And if you have a lighter isotope, it's going to be deflected more. And depending on where you put that detector, which one you will pick up. So the results of a mass spectrometer would look like this, where we have the relative abundance on the y-axis. And we will see discrete lines. This example is for lead. On the x-axis will be the mass in AMU. You can use this graph to calculate the average atomic mass. Okay, and then finally, uses of radioactive isotopes. Probably worthwhile to have a couple of these that you remember. Remember, there are three forms of radiation. Gamma is the highest energy radiation. Having a little trouble. Those are the most energetic, more damaging. Most penetrating, because they are the highest energy. Then we have alpha. and then beta radiation. Okay. Some other uses, nuclear power. They're used in crime detection. You can use isotopes for finding cracks in metals. These are done in those big storage tanks on chemical facilities. It can be used in preserving food. Carbon dating to find the uh, age of artifacts. They use the carbon-14. And then radiotherapy. Um, for cancer, and that's cobalt-60 that is sometimes used in that, as well as medical tracers. You use iodine-131 or iodine-125. And that concludes the screencast.